Attention. This review is meant to support the official release of the anime or manga in question. If you truly want to help out, go watch the anime or read the manga. You really should. Hello everybody, Jake of the One Man Band is here, bringing you another anime review. I haven't made one of these in a very long time, and I'm very excited because... During all that time, I was watching, like, f five different animes at the same time. And my brain is just full of just all this stuff that I've watched. And it was a real busy time. But anyway, enough about me and back to this anime. This anime was actually um, suggested to me by uh, you guys, which I was very thankful for. Because after I watched Elf and Laid... I couldn't really find another uh, anime to really do a review on. I mean, I was looking for something that was relatively short, and the animes I was watching at the time were all long. So, I was real excited when you guys suggested to me Spice and Wolf. And that's what this review is about. Spice and Wolf. It is awesome! Alright, so just so all you guys know, this isn't your normal kind of um, anime. <clears throat> Due to the fact that it doesn't really revolve around, uh, oh, uh, swords and magic and gun-wielding heroes and all that. It's really just a road movie. It's basically just about traveling. It has um, the uh, themes. That's the word I'm looking for. Brain, not working. It's too full. Uh, the themes that carry on throughout this story, they're mostly about, uh, like, economics and traveling and uh, business, basically. They're not about, like, oh, he, the, he's a hero and he's... Nah, it's, it's just mostly about just, like, economic making money stuff. But it's also a, um, a series basically about two people meeting under strange circumstances, and they travel technically the world together. I guess you can count their travels in Spice and Wolf as the world, because they're traveling around a lot. Alrighty, time for a quick sum up of the plot. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it with my uh, epic voice. In a world much like ancient Europe, well not really ancient, in a world much like medieval Europe, there is a lone peddler, that's a traveling merchant, who goes around selling his wares, trying to make enough money to open his own store. This merchant, this peddler, his name is Kraft Lawrence, a 25-year-old peddler who goes around and sells wares. It's cool. He has silver hair. And it is during these travels that he comes across a small village that specializes in the harvest of wheat. And it is here that he comes across a pagan godlike entity, basically a, a, a spirit, that, <clears throat> that has blessed this village with a very harvestful crop. For many years, centuries even, she goes by the name of Holo, the wise wolf, the wolf spirit. Yet she dons the appearance of a young lady, yet she keeps wolf ears and a very large wolf tail. And it is here that the two of them decide to travel together to get to her homeland in the north. And that's basically the plot. Now really, the only two characters that are worth really talking about are the two main ones, because everyone else in the series, they're all secondary characters. And yes, they are important. Secondary characters and characters that are just in the background, they're all important to a story, and blah 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 But I'm basically just going to give the rundown of the two uh, chief characters, Kraft Lawrence and Holo, the Wise Wolf. What can you really say about Kraft Lawrence? He's 25 years old. He has silver hair, which is awesome. He's a peddler, merchant. He's trying to raise a lot of money. He's a 
He's a man of his wits. He's he's very smart, very cunning. He knows uh, le uh, he knows business sense, legal jargon. He knows how to get out of uh, jams and uh, business sense. He knows how to turn um, situations around so that he can make a profit out of things. And that's his underlining goal with everything that he does is that he can make a profit. So he's very driven by business. He's very driven by money. Yeah, he also, you know, has a soft side. He's not just, I am a robot, must get money. He's not a robot. He's not like that. He's he's real uh, sensitive in the sense that uh, he can get along with people. Even though at the beginning of the series, him getting along with Holo, it's real. <laughs> it's very comical to watch how they uh, get together. And just the banter between the two main characters, it's so funny. I mean, if you watch, if you start to watch the anime, you'll understand what I mean within the first two episodes. Alright, Holo the Wise Wolf. Age, basically unknown, because she's been around for many centuries. But in her human form, she looks about, I don't know, 15, teenish ish around there. And she has a uh, wolf ears and a very thick uh, wolf tail, which she takes pride in. She combs it, and she's and she's always making reference to it. Yet, despite her appearance, Holo is very wise. She's able to get out of jams. Um, she's able to, you know, figure things out, and she isn't completely lost when. Uh, Lawrence goes on about um, like business sense and legal jargon and all that. She's actually able to follow it, and when she doesn't, he's able to explain it so that she understands. And that's mostly for the audience, because there were times when he was just talking about stuff, and I was like, what the heck is he talking about? And then she would say something, and then he would be all like, yeah, that's basically it. And I was like, oh, I understand now. Speaking of which, I now think I can become... A very successful businessman by watching this. Not really. But there are some pretty good tips and tricks in this uh, series about uh, business sense. Really cool. But anyway, back to Holo. Holo enjoys really the finer things in life, especially food and drink. I mean, there is almost every single episode you can find uh, Lawrence and Holo sitting in a tavern drinking down flagons of beer and and eating very succulent looking foods and she's really obsessed with apples which I can uh, assimilate to because I love apples. Apples are the greatest thing on the face of this earth. Yet one of the big factors about Holo is that she is actually lonely. She's afraid of loneliness. I mean wouldn't you if you've been stuck in a wheat field for over 500 years being basically treated like crap by the people that you help? I would. And it's due to her wise and very mature nature that the, uh, I've talked about this uh, just probably like a minute ago in the uh, video, but the banter between Lawrence and Holo is hilarious because even though she's small in stature and she looks like a kid, she's, Holo is wise and she's mature so she's able to just totally beat Lawrence down in um, squabbles and all that. And with words, it's funny, it's like all their fighting that they do is with words and basically money. Which is real different from other animes, which I loved. Because I wasn't, you know, watching it like, oh, oh, oh no, oh they're fighting with swords, oh no, what's gonna happen? It's like, they were just like, like beating each other up with like words and like insults. And it was just hilarious to watch. Because these two people, they're obviously arguing with each other, but it's obvious that they have feelings for each other. Uh, what those feelings really evolve into, you will have to really see. But I find it so funny how uh, Holo, throughout the series, she just goes from one extreme to another in her whole personality sense. I mean, she can act like a very mature wise woman and then in the very next uh, scene she's acting like a spoiled teenage daughter it's hilarious it's amazing and I just love to see this in an anime where it's just where when good writing and very good uh, voice acting and uh, just 
an overall greatness of the of everything that's going on and how it's all put together just makes this great musical <laughs> play that's just hilarious to watch. I'm using all these weird words and you're all like, what the hell are you talking about? Basically, bottom line, if you like animes and you want an anime that's different from the usual fighting or supernatural kind of element thing that's going on or like space stuff just just check out spice and wolf it's basically a road movie that's what it is it's about two people going on the road trying to make money trying to get by and learning about each other on the way it, it's great to just watch it's real simple it has two seasons uh, two seasons and each season is about 13 episodes so about 26 episodes that's not really all that much if you really think about it it's it's pretty average in the whole normal uh, anime sense I mean and it's great if you just I would highly suggest it I would give it uh, I would give it a solid 9 out of 10 I mean that's even going uh, above Elf and Laid which I completely went gaga over. I mean, I, I'm still re-watching Elf and Laid. This, I'm like re-watching all the episodes and I just love it because any show that makes you want to re-watch episodes right after you finished it is okay in my book. Alright, so I've, I'm gonna put links to uh, sites where you can watch the animes uh, down in the description. If you guys have any animes that you want me to look at, just go ahead, personal message me, uh, put in the comments, and I'll get around to it because I would really like some shorter type animes to watch. I mean, right now I'm watching basically Dragon Ball Z, Yu Yu Hakusho, and Naruto Shippuden all at the same time. It's kind of intense for my brain because it's just all like all the, all these shows have like 200 plus episodes and I have to watch the ball and I'm just crying on the inside because it's just it's so much and it gets the points in the plot where it's just so slow so I have to take a break and watch something else so please send me something else or else I'll go crazy. I already am crazy. Anyway, I will see you guys later, and I hope you enjoy Spice and Wolf. Yeah, yeah. Bye-bye.